Hey guys, this report, uh, this is just my little bitch fest. I want to talk about the new uh, safe boxes and how we can get around it if you, if it affected you. And also, I want to cover a report. Uh, I had I had some people ask about a report. Um, we're going to do an analysis over this report we did. This was a T11 attack into a 10, 20 bill player. Player had pretty decent buffs. Uh, we're in the mid 2000s on the attack. Lower two. Um, the big thing was he had a big T4 shield. Um, he had 50 mil on his T4 shield. So that played a big part in the defense. And it, it, I was worried that we didn't have enough, which... We didn't really win by landslide. I think we didn't go like a hundred eighty points or two hundred points positive on the on the server points, but um so this is the buff screen. I led it. Um everybody was with me we would have everybody my buff we would landslide it, but not really the case. Um, let's dive into it, and then I'll get into my bitch fest, but I want to cover, I will cover this first. So we're here, now that we had one mistake, uh, this guy, he was leveling up his subs, and he clicked the wrong button, so this was a level up sub setup, it wasn't a T1 strike, so we kind of forfeited these points. Uh, that was kind of a give me points over to him, cause that's the love love level up sub set up, and it wasn't really set up for a T1 attack. This guy, he sent in, everything was beautiful, went great. This is this guy, another guy on par with me. Everything went beautiful. Sent big, came back big. Zeus, uh, the player's in the hospital. He's getting a little bit behind on his buffs. Uh, he said a T tiny. It just didn't. It just didn't do well. Um, it just didn't do well. So this was slid over to where he got some of his points back on the exchange. Here, um, the rally didn't go all the way down, stopped at T11s. So she snubbed it off, and this was also where we lost some of our point exchange. Uh, it's a pretty decent player. Not the highest bust, but good player, but... I had this gone all the way down, I think this would have been a little bit more seesaw back in the, at least balanced. There might be a lot of low on the, here was a, I don't know, between hammer and, and wait for rain, the, uh, Second strongest person on the team. T15s failed out. 13s or 14s failed out. 13s failed out. 12s went positive. He sent less than 2 million troops. He sent a T tiny march. He, he does that. He, he went way pop. I mean, he was he was in the green. He was in the green on the attack, but he just sent small marches towards our rallies. Like he sent less than two million troops on the whole rally, but he was really in the green. 
but he didn't put much risk out. Mine, I did my 22s. I lost that on the top. Barely broke on the 14s. A little bit more on the 13s. Cleaned out on the fort. Cleaned out on the 12s. Home run on the 11s. And my march, I cut off too. We had come out of battlefield, and this is probably what happened to the other player. Come out of battlefield, and you have your dragon buffs. Well, wonder, you know, you got the one with the march size battlefield buff when it wears off and you don't adjust your mark sizes it chomps it off <laughs> and if you'll see the times we do battlefield slot 9 you'll see this happened right here it would have been 27 minutes after the timer had run out and that well I guess that's on us for not making the adjustment but, but anyway uh, let's go to him Boudica had Leo so he did right on his defense um Brown. His 15's broke even. They went a little positive, about broke even. His mount got some clean kills. Clean kills means no death with some kills. His 14's laid waste to us. 13's couple clean kills here you thicken these layers up and it would have been even more 12s about a 3 to 1 we didn't get his 11s but his 11s finished us all I don't know 10 Got some of them. We just jumped over everything. And took little bits and pieces of us. We come down here and half the spores. And his uh, T1 mount base would have finished us off. Before... We could circle back up here to the range. Oh, no, well, I guess it would have, it did come back to the range, but then the range finished. Yeah. Technically, in the motion of the battle, that's how it would have happened. We went down to the bottom, came back up here, and when it reached the range, this is where the troops finally were killed at the, at the range. So, um, all in all, his defense held out pretty good. Uh, I think we hit him with 18 million. 24 counting me. We went to hit him a second time, which would have after clearing out half his fours, but I think we would have came out a little better, but, yeah, we, we got the power exchange by 160, but, somehow we got a, like 175 on the server points. I guess, for whatever the point troop values were, 
and if I'd show you my successes and not my failures, I wouldn't be here of my failure. Which I still ain't figured this one out, but I hit May. May's like a brick house. I hit with Siege. Before debuffs, I won by 600, 500, and 300. That's attack, defense, HP. After subtracting out the debuffs, 600, 1600, or 1600, I won by 300, 2200, to 1000. I won by 1200 defense, 2200. To 1100 and a thousand HP. I won my 1200 defense and 1100 HP. Let's just see where we went wrong. He had an itty bitty topper on the siege. Maybe ghosting, maybe, maybe build it that way. I skipped over the 14s. Skipped over, but he didn't skip me, but I chunked it. Chunked it. I took out his fours. Took out his threes, which was only seven and six. And then it didn't touch nothing else. That's all I killed. I didn't even take out his twos. <laughs> Which I still haven't figured this out, but I'm coming down here to look at the subsidies. Range subsidy, range subsidy, range subsidy, range subsidy, range all, but generic a generic all siege all range 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 ground. You know, they got some siege, but they don't specialize in it. It's not like mine. Range. Siege. Or no, range. This is a siege general. Range. Siege. Generic. Ground. Range. Siege. Range, siege, siege. So how I lost, I don't know. Or maybe how I lost that bad, I don't know. But I did. But huh? Okay, so that's the that's that. Let's get into let's get into what the video was about. How to uh, offset the uh, the new problems? Um, yeah. Just let me join these. Well, new problems is the safe boxes can't be plundered, and that's on that's on the gamers for now. But I don't think the Grinch is done messing with their customer loyalty and done punishing us yet. I believe they'll cover this and carry it on to other monsters soon. So be prepared 
they're just going to, the scout tower is going to be worthless. When you scout somebody for you scout somebody for resources, it ain't gonna make a make a hill of beans because you ain't gonna know how much of it's safe or how much it's gonna. You, you might as well not scout them for resources. I mean, you'll still know the troops. Until Ebony makes safe place a safe space for troops, fucking left wing bullshit. Uh, we'll uh, so how do we fix the problem? I'll show you. What we're going to do is keep doing the gamers for at least, well, until you need, the, until you finish the goal. But I'll show you the goal. The goal is going to be... That's my new dog. I went to get this dog. Uh, I'm breeding that dog. Um, right there. That's terrible. Where is the thing? Where is the damn picture? It is. Here's the goal. The difference. <clears throat> Most people carry their farms up to level 32 and 33 for the VIP level for the. So you can get the extra march preset. So you can do the. For the preset, so you can put the the green and it makes it easier to run in the bot. So what I want you to do, take that level 32, 33, and move your product, take them safe resources and move everything to level 40. You ain't got nothing else to do with them safe resources anyway. You're not going to be able to use them. So we're going to use them to double, to move it to your production. I tested it. I verified it right here in the picture. From 33 to 40 is exactly double. It's going to double the amount of resources we get. Um, I mean, that's just one of the ways you can do it. Um... Another thing is, if you haven't already took your cousin at the level 35, now you'll be able to get that 6 march. So when the warlords come and the witches come, you'll be able to have that extra march. And not only you'll be able to have that extra march, you'll be able to have that extra march speed. So you'll be able to turn quicker when the warlords and the witches are here. 
and the majority of it that took your forge up to level 27 and stopped just to, to just to make the dragon gear now you'll be able to take your forges up to level 33 and make better gatherers which gathering gathering you can still you can get that 25 marker instead of doing the uh, you can get better better gear for your gatherers which that resources can be taken and with all these extra resources and the new way of getting it, you're definitely going to want to increase your warehouse. Now at level 38, which I haven't took this up to 40 because, well, I'm still working on my buildings. At level 38, you will be able to transport 165 a day into your warehouse and store up to 2.7 billion one other thing to think about now which on some of the cousins I know about they take the second rune, the jungle rune, and, and level it up for a gathering. You can do that during the competition event for the, the rune the runes or the consumed gems and get credit that way. Um, you wanna do it during an event so you're also getting the gem consumption so you can get payback for that. And once now you're leveling this keep up, I mean, 5.5 .5 million an hour is doable with no resources. And this is with a Jinko that's not blood. I mean, and you also need to use your bloods in those accounts. This is a non blooded Jinko. And. I don't know if I... Yeah, I, I ruined it out. Now, I, I haven't maxed this rune out, but... You can do the fourth rune, but then you have to do them all. I, I didn't spend it. Most of your farm accounts going to be free anyway. You'll probably only mess with this first... This second rune. It's also important to note, it says you can't transport or do anything with those, uh, those resources. So, the resources you do get from your production tiles and you get from other places, before you build any production plots or build any soldiers or do anything, you need to make sure you transport or collect your resources before you use any of your live I, I guess you call it use any of your real resources you need to expand what can be expanded before using these restricted nasty resources that we're having to be with Just, uh, yeah, I don't know why they hate us so much, but, but that's the way, that's the way around it, is focus on internal production, level your buildings up, use, use the free resources. First, first and foremost is do your production. 
Every single one of y'all should have a level 30 pasture. You should have the dragon. The dragon should be put on Jinko. And Jinko sh it should be collecting resources around the clock. Put one in the ground. It takes no stamina. You have four lines that you can... Because you don't use dragon crystals on anything. Because you're not you you're not attacking nobody. You got four lines. Put it on stone or wood, depending on your gameplay. Your siege man or your range guy. So put it put it at four rings. Put it on. Keep it collecting around the clock. No stamina. Go at it. Um, when the when the witches come, I don't keep doing the gamers till you get all your buildings built a hundred percent. Witches come, warlords come, go nuts and don't miss them. Gamers four, five, and six still give tactical scrolls. I quit doing humor threes this week. I told everybody that's a trash monster now. I wouldn't even rally them. I'd solo them if they were closer to the base, but I wouldn't even rally humor three anymore. World War three I would do, but I wouldn't touch a humor three. Not on a rally. It lost its appeal. There was other things in that time slot And uh, I'd rather do a turtle three, and that's that's saying a lot if you know anything about the monsters. But and I, cause I usually don't touch a turtle four or three. We don't rally any turtles. We only do five or six on the turtles, and I really don't like doing fives, but I will. People need to research stones, but um, yeah, just. Make some changes, and uh, they're not liking some of us, and we just got to make adjustments to them. All right, y'all.